Good day. This is Mike Williams with the quarantined edition. Let me take this off so y'all can hear me. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Now you can hear me. Sorry about that. Hope y'all having a good week in the group. Um, I, I get a lot of questions about how to add lyrics to your live stream and or add scripture to your live stream as well. Um, and so I'm going to do a quick tutorial here and show you how to do that. Now, the first thing you want to do is for those that have OBS, um, and I, you know what, to my, to my knowledge, I believe that this could possibly work in other programs as well. I just kind of choose to use OBS because that's kind of that's kind of my thing. Um, that's what I've been using. So what you're going to do is you're going to download a program, and this program is actually free. And there's a couple different programs. You're going to download this program. You look on my screen. There's a program called Video Psalm, right? And the reason I recommend Video Psalm is because Video Psalm has more Bibles um, in it than I was originally using OpenLP. But Video Psalm has more scriptures in it, and I believe it's a little bit easier to do the formatting. Now, that's just my opinion. You can play with it yourself and kind of figure out, you know, hey, what works for you. But you basically want to download Video Psalm, right? Now, after you download Video Psalm, and I'm going to switch back here. I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to open up Video Psalm, and Video Psalm is going to start. And once it's going to take a minute to load. I might edit this out. I might not. Uh, if not, you're, then you just watch me ramble while it loads all of these beautiful Bible uh, scriptures and verses. Thank you, Jesus. So once Video Psalm loads, now I'm going to tell you right now, this will work better if you have a second monitor. If you're doing it on a laptop, just get any monitor. It doesn't have to be expensive. It can be a VGA monitor. It can be a DVI monitor. It doesn't have to be expensive. You don't necessarily need a, um, a, a high dollar a monitor, but you definitely do want a monitor that will allow you to um, uh, uh, display it on another screen. Okay, so I'm going to open up my video song real quick and I'm going to show you exactly where you can do this. So I'm going to open this up and the transition is over. So this is what video psalm looks like up here uh, on the upper left hand corner. And I believe I learned how to turn on my uh, uh, what was it? My. Uh, well, I guess I forgot, but whatever. Um, oh, open Apple Bar. Nope. Okay, there we go. I learned how to turn on my my uh, magnification. So that's what you need to see. So up here in the magnification, you have your fonts. Over here, you have your uh, songbooks, your Bibles. The, that and these are the only two features you'll really, really use in um, Video Psalm is you'll, you'll do the songbooks, is, which is where you find the songs, and you'll do your Bibles. Now, you'll also notice that if you um, install all of the Bibles, Video Psalm will only load 50 Bibles at a time. So really, don't, don't, don't install more of the Bibles than you need. Just install the ones you need. Songbooks, you want to install all the songbooks, because as you see here, it has uh, 2,200 songs from, from, from uh, Big Camp Selection, and I'll turn this on real quick. Big Camp Collection, uh, Camp 40, Easy Slides, you, you, Cantonese English, I don't know if you need those, uh, Easy Slides, English, Easy Slides, uh, Easy Worship, I Will Sing, Praise, Matt Redmond Songs, Media Shout Songs, uh, Public Domain Media Shout. So you can add all these songs for free. And as you can, t if you scroll down here, you'll see that it's just a ton of songs that you can use to, um, to, 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 to display lyrics. So I'm going to hopefully pick a song that uh let me see let's see if songs if this song is older um but let's see if it's in here uh, uh open the eyes so let me see here i'm gonna try to pick uh, open the eyes of my heart lord bam easy song everybody knows this song so, and obviously you have to go through and see if these songs are here but here's how you do it so when you open the songs up here, there's two ways to do this. So if you click on the chorus right here, you'll see that the words come up right here in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Um, and actually, I'm going to have to move my camera so that you can see where they're at because you can't see it because my camera's on top of it. So let's move it up there. Transition. There we go. So you see right here in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, this is where the lyrics come in. So that's what lyrics are being displayed, okay? 
So what you want to do is you want to, and I'm going to take this off there for a minute. What you want to do is you want to output to your second monitor. And right now, oops, and it's trying to pull my camera in. So let me take the camera off. There we go. So you want to output this to a second monitor, as you can tell. So as you can see right here, now my lyrics, this is my second screen, right? And so on this screen is where you'll see the lyrics of what you are singing. And obviously to, to you know, you can either use arrow keys to go back and forth between each song, or you can use the mouse to skip from the chorus, you know, to verse one to the end, all right? So that's how you, that's it, that's easy way to manage um, the, the, the transition of lyrics within video song. Now, another thing that you can do in video song, and I'll pull my screen back up here a second, and when I pull it up, it switches, it automatically switches um, the output to my bottom monitor. You can also control the formatting, and this is key. So right here in the, um, up here at the top, you'll see that you have several things that you need to worry about. There's the font, the font size, and the position, which would be the, the, the alignment, which would be your font spacing, which would be left your justification, your left justification, your middle justification, your center justification, your right justification, or full justification. And then the alignment of it, which would be here, you want it in the middle, top, or bottom. Now, the one thing that I would recommend is since you're going to have a video overlay in on it, and I'm going to move my camera up once again so you can see uh, what I'm talking about, is I would recommend that on your font sizes that you would uh, change this to bottom so you can see it right there. And I would also make the font smaller by just clicking on this button. There's a button right here that you can click on and it should make it smaller. So there we go. Now with with video Psalm, it's a little bit different as far as the formatting. You have to play with the formatting to get these songs um, spread across the bottom of the page, which you can do some editing on. But for the most part, I'm going to show you how to do this pretty simple and fast. So let's just say that that's, that's the lyrics I have right now. Now, you definitely want to make sure that when you change the formatting on the upper left-hand corner, there is a... Let me make sure I'm on the right, the right space. And I'm going to turn off the... Uh, I'm going to turn off the lyrics real quick. Stop the presentation. In the upper right hand corner, there are three there are three ways to format. There's verse, there's song, and then there's global. When you do the formatting, make sure that this is on song. All right. So that way when you apply the formatting to your your song, it'll all be the same. So I'm gonna turn the presentation back on. I'm gonna click on this. And on song, I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna click the 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 choice for song, I'm going to make the font like 50 to make it smaller, and I'm going to bring this to the bottom. That way, it should keep the formatting for the entire song. There we go. So, now you can play with the transitions here. That, that's your own little preference. Um, but anytime you make a formatting decision, you're going to click on song and then, you know, go down here and hit fade. So, maybe you want fade. So, now it's going to fade every single time, Okay. So it's fading, as you can see, when you click on it, and it's at the bottom of the screen. Now, I'm going to bring my, I'm going to turn the presentation off, and the way you turn the presentation off is you simply click on this, there's a presentation screen right here, you turn that off, and that's how you turn the presentation off. I'm going to bring, I'm going to actually switch this over to my OBS so you can see what I'm doing here. How, how to get this into your video. All right. So let's switch back here to my main camera for a second. And then I'm going to set up my screen real quick. So I'm going to set up my video song to actually display on channel on screen number two. All right. There we go. And I'm going to turn on the presentation, which is going to be the presentation screen. And then I'm going to switch back to my second monitor so you can see what it looks like. So now my second screen, you have the lyrics at the bottom. Once again, if I go into video song and I just go back and forth between the lyrics, it switches, right? Here's what I want to do. I want to, in OBS, and let me pull in my OBS screen. 
let me just pull up a video all right i'm gonna load a video up here in my obs and i actually want you to see what i'm doing here so i'm gonna switch this over to monitor one just for a second there we go so you should be able to see my monitor right now i want to add a video scene so let's just say uh i add a video scene I'm going to add media source. I'm going to click plus and add media source. And I'm going to add a video I already have. So there's a Bible study I just recorded on Wednesday. It's right there. So the Bible study is there. I'm going to right click on the properties of it. Make sure everything is good. Yeah. Okay, cool. And I'm going to actually put my camera on top of that so you can see what's going on. So my camera is going to stay on top when I transition over. When I transition over, you should hear some audio from it. And there we go. So I'm going to turn the volume down. So now you still hear me talking, but you see the video, right? So this Bible study is playing, right? And say right now he's teaching, but the lyrics are going to come in. So this is a Bible study from, I don't know, two weeks ago. Now on the right side of this, and I'm going to turn the actual video off and transition back. I'm going to go down here and add a monitor capture, which is the monitor capture I have. I'm going to click monitor. Which is, well, I can't even find it. I'm acting slow. Display capture, sorry. I'm going to say second screen, second monitor, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to pick monitor two, right? Perfect. Okay, so when you put your lyrics into OBS as, we, as we've added the second monitor, you want to right click on second screen, right? Filters. And you want to add a filter called Luma Key. So I tried to do Color Key. It didn't work. My son told me to use Luma Key. So we're going to go with Luma Key. But usually Color Key works. I don't know why. But you're going to add Luma Key and click OK. What Luma Key does is it gets rid of the background, as you can see on the left side of my screen. Now, another thing you want to do is you want to add a color source. Now, I already have a color source named Black, so I'm going to add that. And the Black color source actually is already... Uh, it has a it has an it has a, a filter on it already so I'm gonna add that black and put it behind the screen the way you make it oh, um, opaque uh, if that's I don't even know what this word the way you make it lighter how's that you right click on filters and you add a color correction on the color correction you'll see all the way down at the bottom opacity so if I go here it's full 100 but I don't want full 100 I actually want to go maybe like 50% Close. There we go. So now when I transition over, you'll see that I have um, the lyrics at the bottom as well as I have a cover so you can actually see the lyrics. Now, you can edit the song to stretch out the fonts a little bit, uh, stretch out the lines a little bit to make it a little smaller. You can do that or you can put you can break it up through the video settings within video song to actually allow maybe one half of the verse to go on each slide that's just the default how it's set for most programs what i want to do is turn the video back on and i'll leave my camera on and see what happens so now let's just assume that that this pastor's preaching and um the you know just assume this pastor's actually talking or whatever they're doing and i can go back to video psalm and during the recording or the or the live stream i can move the words whatever i want I can move the lyrics. Let's just say the pastor's actually uh, doing a, a a scripture. I can go into my Bibles and let's just pick Genesis 1 and it will pull up the entire uh, scripture. Now, as you see, it's over the top. The way I can fix that is I go into my video psalm and I pick Bible and I'll show you how to do this real quick. Um, I'm going to switch this up here to where you can see it. Um, you go click on in the upper right hand corner right here click on Bible first before you change the formatting and I uh, click f the font you can leave the same but you can reduce this to 40 or whatever it is and then you know move this down to the bottom like that and maybe 40 is too small may maybe 50 and you'll see right there that as I click on each individual scripture it'll be at the bottom now i'll switch this to the bottom screen video psalm will automatically adjust it to 
the output of my second monitor and then I can go over here to my black background and move that down for the preacher or set up another scene where you have one for the lyrics and one for the singers and you'll notice the scripture is in the upper right hand corner you can turn that off in video psalm and as I'm going through video psalm I can actually still pick whatever scripture I want and just as they're, as they're speaking if you don't like that the little fade you can change the transition to cut which would just be a quick uh or slide or whichever one you want to pick um and then now it just changes so i change it to cut and obviously if you have you know as you can see a lower thirds popped up if you have a lower thirds in your in your in your in your video you definitely don't want to do lower thirds on top of this but this video is playing so if the pastor's pulling up words or scriptures there you go. So, in order to turn that off, you just turn off your black. And you turn off your second screen. And you transition back. And as you can see, you can add lyrics, you can add announcements, and you can use a second program. Now, um, from what I understand, Easy Worship does have a, a uh, and I believe ProPresenter may have it too, has a way to send the output to a second computer so you can pull it in. But the thing is, some of us don't have those programs at home. We're using free software. We're using open source software. So the thing that you want to try to do is you want to try to use the resources you have. Just to do a quick recap, download Video Psalm, format Video Psalm by clicking on the upper left-hand corner to choose Song, move the text to the bottom, and then you want to pick a size that's readable on the screen you want to add a color source, which is um, could be any color. Add a filter on it. The filter can be color correction. Lower the opacity to 50%, and then put your second monitor or second screen on top of that and put that on your video. So I think that's the quickest tutorial that I can give you because I know we're rolling up on Easter and Good Friday and different things like that. And so... Try that out if you have any questions. Obviously, you can hit me on the inbox. I talked to a few of you guys in the group already. Hit me on the inbox and let me know if you have any problems, and I can zoom in and help you walk through it real quick. So that's my quick tutorial for today. You guys keep it moving, keep it pushing. We're almost halfway there to a destination that we don't know where it's at. So you guys have a good day. God bless.